It is said that the present is what defines the future and that the future is built on the foundations of the past. While there are those who live their lives fearing what the future may hold, there are those of courage who simply are driven by it. To say that Patricio Freddi is a dominant force is an understatement. The most decorated fighter in Bellator history and a two division champ. Chandler gets rocked by Patricio Pitbull. You talk about unpredictable. The referee is in the base, and Patricio Pitbull has done it. Makes Bellator history. The man they call Pitbull holds record for most wins, fights, and knockouts. Oh my God! A lightning strike come from behind win for Patricio Pitbull. Man, that is a left hook. There he goes. Goes for it. Just continues to rewrite the Bellator MMA record books. On Saturday, July 31st, Pitbull will enter the cage looking to prove that he is the greatest featherweight in the world, that he is the present. He now faces his toughest challenge to date, defending his title against a man people are calling the future. This is all she wrote. Now, there it is. Another finish for A.J. McKee. A.J. McKee, the mercenary. Crafty as he is dynamic. AJ McKee is the red glove. Oh! He drops Cara Hanyan. AJ McKee. The current record holder for the longest winning streak in Bellator believes he has what it takes to dethrone the champ. To take what he's been calling for. Man, I've been calling for that belt since I stepped foot in this cage the day I signed pro. A shot at the 145 pound title. This is the easiest fight. Me going out there, crossing my T's and my I's, because I like it bold, you know what I'm saying? Two careers standing at a crossroad, brought together by the same mission, to be the last man standing in the world's toughest Grand Prix, to be the king of the featherweight division. I am the best. I know I am the champion. I'm knocking him the f out. This is Countdown. Patricio Pitbull versus AJ McKee. Everyone knows Bellator because of me and my brother. And now the media is, is, is telling me, ah, I, now you, you are the best featherweight in the world. This guy is definitely on the pound for pound list. I know I'm the best. Believing you are the best is one thing, but proving it is what matters. For Patricio Freire, he has proved it over and over and over again. All guy that I face on the cage is personal. Now he's teeing off. Pace is in big trouble. The is it. That is it. Big shot. This fight is over. Big right hand by Pitbull at the left. One thing he has is a very powerful guillotine. And there it is. Hanging on to see life, but it's done. Patricio Pitbull finds a way. This belt means my dream. He has a great guillotine. There he goes. Goes for it. This is how he beat Henry Corral. He's got it. He got it. And Patricio Pitbull has climbed the mountain again. I'm going to defend it. I'm going to put everything in the ring. That's it. AJ McKee, senior, junior, you guys think you know the answers, but the Pitbull brothers always change the questions. July 31st is going to be the best performance of Patricio Pitbull's life. He's at the top of his game. Dominate the time. We keep scoring here. Make it nasty. We make it dirty. They talk a lot of him and his father. He's saying my time's over. My time's just begun. No one has a win over me. No one has a belt with my name on it. And no one's going to have a belt with my name on it. He from Compton, but he ain't from Brazil. So talking like that is not a problem. I'm gonna take his boy and beat his in front of you. 
Nasty. Ah! Love it. Long Beach, California's AJ McKee is young, brash, and brimming with confidence. Everybody's talking about the divisions on lock. Well, guess what? McKee's got the key, and I'm opening it back up. All traits that come along with having an unblemished 17-0 MMA record. It's over. For the McKees, it's all in the family. And AJ's father, Antonio, a veteran of 38 pro fights himself, is also his head coach. So here, jump into oh, yeah. it, lift him up, jump into it. AJ was born special, and it didn't take long for the elder McKee to realize his son's calling. I realized at age five, I knew he was going to be a fighter. He was just different. I like the circle to it a little, because then I can put more pressure. Oh, OK. He wrestled, but he didn't take the wrestling. He wanted to punch something. Oh! This one isn't oh! going to go that far. Barnes in big trouble, and it's over. The crazy part is he's able to separate being a coach, being a father. So when we step in these doors, it's now coach. Oh. It, this is pressure, but this here, I'm gonna lock it in, and then I'm looking to lock my hands up here. Being a coach and a father is real simple for me. This has been my walk for the past 25 years. This is a father-son moment. It's very special. Oh, you're not gonna keep holding me like this. Shut bro. up in front of the camera. I don't really have feelings. I'm very anal about being the best coach in the world to no matter who it is I'm coaching. Son, friends, doesn't matter. All right, y'all ready for exhibition? Go down. I'm just obsessed with perfection. Not. <laughs> That's the old McKee. This fight, this is where the MMA world, everyone gets to see what is AJ really capable of. <laughs> I don't believe in ifs. If your mom had balls, your last name would be different. This dude's a monster. So, let's speak facts. When he gets the belt. So they get to watch me get beat up by my son. You know, it's just the beginning of his career. He's young. He's good looking, he's vibrant, he's exciting. What more can you ask for from a champ? You got yourself a, a hero here. He's the hood hero. When the brackets for the Bellator Featherweight Grand Prix were being assembled, Patricio Pitbull was given the choice to sit out and wait for the winner. Or he could enter the tournament himself, but he would be putting his belt on the line each time out. For the double champ, the choice was easy. I put myself in danger to prove that I'm real the best. You want to touch gloves, do it now? Pitbull's gamble has paid off. Over the course of the tournament, the, the champ successfully defended his title three times. The final two opponents were dispatched easily, both in the first round. Pitbull looking for the guillotine choke. He is out. Pitbull goes to the tournament final as a featherweight champion. This would set up the Grand Prix final with none other than A.J. McKee. That's the perfect final. Pitbull, many years in Bellator, breaking a lot of records. A.J. McKee is young. He's undefeated, and he believes he can beat me. It's good to prove his own. While Patricio Pitbull's road to the Featherweight Grand Prix Final was about continuing to assert his dominance over the Featherweight division, for the young gun, A.J. McKee, it was about proving that he belonged. First round of the tournament, I was like, man, let's make a statement, not only to the division, but to the rest of the world. A.J. McKee, southpaw, is he red glove? Oh! He drops Kyle Hanyan! A.J. McKee, faster than a TikTok video! A.J. McKee just starched Georgie Kyle Hanyan! I want my belt! Let's go! Second round, you got Derek Campos, who's just a bull, man. The biggest dark horse in the tournament. AJ Dom at the action of that first Oh, oh and Campos is down! AJ McKee diving in! His mentality, kill or be killed. Oh, the tap out! McKee, 16 and 0! And the longest win streak in Bellator history continues! 
and then fighting Darren Carwell, NCAA champ, and pulling off another submission that no one's ever really seen before. He has made his way to the finals. He's been in camp for this for the last five years. He never took a day off. Even when he was broken up and busted up, he was hitting and sparring. He's learning so much in the gym. He's constantly growing, making improvements. And that's why every fight you see, you see a different guy every fight. So how do you study for that? You about to put me in that dog fight again. He doesn't know what I'm going to do. I know he's going to try to wrestle. But what does he know that I'm going to do? He ain't doing that shit. Just in case, though, I'm going to his shit up he goes through my legs. This fight, I feel like he's just tired. He's wore out. He's beat up. I can just feel it. He needs a way out. And I'm going to give him that way out. As A.J. McKee kept climbing the ranks and extending his undefeated record, his eyes were focused on Patricio Pitbull. It may not be a surprise that the first time they crossed paths, McKee had some choice words for Pitbull and did not make a good first impression. He was disrespectful and his father Chu was telling me, tick tock, tick tock, like the time is coming. I told him, yeah. I mean, but like, that's not disrespect. That's you being the man, you being the target, and me telling you I'm coming for your neck. I hope you have an easy no, weight cut, Pitbull, because if you don't, that's your You're the champ. You got to be able to take all that fire, all that heat that comes at you. But guess what? You worried about the wrong because when that door closes, that's when the fun begins. It felt like a, a sludge hammer, like rah, and then your body rattles. It's kind of like a, a shotgun, a 12 gauge. Ah. AG talk too much. Me and he don't like when, I don't know, America is different. You gotta give us a butt press on it. This, 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 fight. If you talk in Brazil, I will punch your face very fast. His teammates ain't they, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, he has to go in that cage and fight with me. It's like the little brother and the big brother. You know, I'm that big brother just doing this, doing this, waiting for him to snap. You fought no butter, man. First match of the tournament. I'll take you whenever, come, bro. Come it don't matter. He doesn't believe what he's saying. When he steps in that cage and actually has Patricio Pitbull, the GOAT, staring straight at him, É o round do campeão. Isso, garoto. Controla ele. Be careful what you wish for, AJ McKee. I'm gonna show everyone who is the best featherweight on the planet. Let's go. On Saturday, July 31st at the Forum in Inglewood, California, the future will collide with the present in what is being called the biggest fight in Bellator history. Pitbull, he's the best featherweight in the world. And that's it. The unpredictable Chandler gets back for Tracy Pitbull makes Bellator history. He's done a lot for the sport. Great. Now it's time to pass the torch on to the young goat. And that's where we're talking about. Oh! Oh! He's it's all over! We haven't seen the last of Patrice Pitbull and what he can accomplish as the pound for pound best fighter in MMA. It's no longer his time. A.J. McGee said I'll be the youngest champion at 145. Never has there been so much at stake. I know I can knock him out or finish him, but I'm going to smash him for five rounds. And putting an exclamation point on the fight with the take Two homegrown heroes, a million-dollar cash prize. Be a millionaire? <laughs> I don't know. I can't wait. a Grand Prix finale, and the featherweight world title. All on the line. Let's hit ball. Let's hit ball. People was talking about let's fight now. Hey, 
Dude, you'll get your dream and you wish on me. I think this is all she wrote. That's it. There it is. All on Showtime. Showtime, baby. Come get it. I want my belt. Let's get it on.